I'm no historian. I'm like, that's the last thing on my mind is like, people are like, you're so dumb. You don't, if you don't know where you've been, you don't know where you're going. I know, man, I was just trying to survive. Anyway, the history, you know, history, his story, uh, who, her story, it's his story. Well, what about, <laughs> what if you're a her and you're like, well, my her story is, uh, you know, that's my mm, pronoun for anyway. Uh, Rosemary Kennedy, <laughs> they freaking stuck an ice pick in her head and went, doo -doo 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 -doo, and they had a, <laughs> what? With every sweep across the cut, cut in her brain, she sang the freaking America the Beautiful and all this shit. And then suddenly on the last pass across her freaking brain, she went silent, didn't say shit for 20. I'm like, yeah, I guess she did. I, and she lived to be 86 after this? And her siblings for the last like 20 years before the, anyway, before a certain point, didn't know where she was? And the mother never spoke of her again? Like, what? Mom! And we thought our moms were fucked up. We're just like, God! All right, kids. Top that shit. Okay? <laughs> At least I didn't put an ice pick in your fucking head and start ripping back and forth in your... Frontal lobe. Anyway, trying to separate it from the rest of your brain to calm you down. Or what? Count yourself lucky. Anyway, God, what the hell? Ugh. And when I was in Ancestry.com, when I was absolutely stupid enough to drop my DNA everywhere, well, that, I would drop mine there. I put my sons in 23andMe because I was uh, delusionally desperate to belong to a family. And I delusionally was thinking if I was a birth mother that had given my child up for adoption, I didn't know what her story was. I would be desperate, desperate. I mean, well, I mean, I probably would have went on with my life and did the best I could. But inside of my, if I, I would be like, I would move heaven, earth, and whatever it took to find my child. She didn't. She was hot. In fact, she told me, I was hiding. I hope you never found me. Well, then what the fuck did you answer the phone call like that for? Why didn't you just say, nope, don't know anything about it. Sorry, click. Because we knew it was you. I wouldn't have bothered you again. The reason you said yes is because you thought, oh, goody. This bitch is 51 and she is so pathetic that she's crawling to me. How can I fuck her? Control and then make her into my little puppet. You tried. It just got. I was only a couple of, by the time, before I had even left. I was highly suspicious of you before we left town. Then you went out, you flew up with me to Baltimore. And I just kind of, when you didn't want to meet my best friend, one of my best friends in my life because your makeup wasn't on. That was my, that was my second. I was like, mm, wow, you really care about me, don't you? This was about me, you dumb bitch. God! Anyway, children, if you see this. You didn't, I didn't give, I didn't lobotomize you, man. You doll, you screaming, doll, kind of crazy. I didn't lobotomize you. I didn't even suggest it. I did not even, I didn't try to put you in a... Wayward Home for Girls, that was on the table. I was, no! No, I literally trusted my daughter Street Smarts before I trusted her to be locked up in some kind of home to discipline. Are you kidding me? I discussed it with their father. I said, night ain't happening, ain't happening in my lifetime. I would never put my daughter in a locked up situation where there was men and women controlling her life and she can't talk to me on the phone and she wasn't that fucking bad. Jeez! She never went to jail. She was just gone, like all over the place. We didn't know where she was. It was not, it was no law involved. There was no, um, you know, OD and none of that crap. She was just, woo, you know what I mean? She was just, she was Karen Boom Boom's daughter. That's all, that's all. You know, went, went through a couple divorces and she was like, ah, you know, I don't blame her. I'm not mad about it. I'm just saying, I'd have never put a fucking blender in her brain or locked her behind in a, in a place where she couldn't talk to me or get out. Because the government got involved. Fuck the government! Anyway, what I meant to say when I went into the Ancestry.com thing, I totally forgot to say, I'm related to the Kennedys. Somehow, somehow, man, I was they were all up in my fucking grill with my uh, genetic matches. I'm like, oh no! I mean, where... I, I believe it was on my maternal side, I believe, because since she looks more like them than he does. But anyway, yeah, man. My mom looks like JFK. <laughs> I don't know. I think my dad looks, I don't know. My dad's, a, but he, he's a Polog. Anyway, it was a straight 100% Polog. I was like, what? That wasn't on my papers. 
They didn't say I was a Polish, but my brother used to mock me. You're Polish, you're Polish, you're stupid Polish. I'm like, oh, apparently. <laughs> as it turns out, Polish people are, they're kind of smart. I mean, I don't know that they're smart as smart as Asian people, but they're not, they're not on the to- low on the totem pole. I'm like, who knows where I got. Am I smart enough for, I don't know. I'm smart enough that I got Lenny. Oh, see you later, YouTube.